Hello. Not we have chosen Jesus, but Jesus has chosen us. Why it's so important? And imagine it so. If you are choosing something like a teacher, because Jesus was a teacher, it's today is maybe a university. You are choosing something very ambitious because because you are feeling this way. I can try and I can win and I can do that. And after one year, you lose your health, or you lose, lose the capacity to focus, or you have married somebody and you come to the conclusion, no, I'm, I can't do it anymore. And you are living that. And Jesus is choosing us, chooses us, it means and that. He is choosing us as the flowers. Each one is a particular one, is one a spectacular one, but each one is as it is. It's not so that I have chosen you and you don't fit anymore my expectations. No, I have chosen it because you are like you are. And even you don't have to give me uh, such a... Um, you, don't give me a proof that I'm somebody and I can manage this university. I can manage this way following Jesus. I have done it well. No, no. You can be as you are. You, you, he have known you, has known you. And so he knows that you have your failures, you have your imperfections, and maybe somebody is not so exactly as it uh, you think it should be. But it's exactly the perfect way as he wants you and so you can be free you can you can be just free and chosen like a be like a child child which is loved by the children is chosen the parents have decided that you have to be and so they have chosen you and they don't know how you will be but they will be give you the freedom as you are. You have, don't have to prove the children, the parents that you have such a particular value. <laughs> exactly, a small child, you can't give such a proof. You're loved as you are. And I think this is a great message for us.